We're going to look at the SparkFun Pro SAMD21 LoRa board, adding a temperature sensor and looking at the signal from the RTL SDR. Before we upload the code uh, from the Arduino IDE, let's talk about the hardware a little bit. We should have already soldered about a three inch antenna, or if you've gotten a micro antenna, that's totally fine. Uh, this particular board has the LoRa chip module built in. And from here, we're going to use this quick connector on the end that has the default I2C port connected to the SAMD21 microcontroller. The pinout for this particular port is ground, VCC, data, and then clock. For our AM2320 temperature and humidity sensor, if we're looking at it from the front, the pinout is VCC, data, ground, and then clock. I have wired this in to match the quick connector here with a one millimeter pitch JST four pin connector. I've also included two pull-up resistors and I've soldered this to a proto board just to quickly do this. The wire colors in this configuration do not mean anything. You can pull the wires and change the colors so they match. I just soldered them in and match the right pin configurations. So to get started, I'm going to make sure that this is the correct orientation. I will plug my quick connector or that JST connector in and make sure it's secured. Careful of those wires. The next thing I'm going to do is plug in my board and we can see I've got power to the board. In the Arduino IDE, just to test, I'll look and make sure that my board shows up in the ports menu. I'm using uh, Linux, so it's going to show up as ACM0. Once it's configured, I'm going to upload to the board, and it should go into bootloader mode after the sketch is compiled. It'll look for the port. It's uploading, and now it's done uploading. Once it's done uploading, I can go over to the serial monitor, which is this magnifying glass at the top right, and I can test everything to make sure it's working. And here I can see I'm getting my temperature in Celsius Fahrenheit, my humidity percentage, it's sending, and then it's sending back those three values that uh, are being sent over the LoRa communication. So I'm gonna leave that running in the background, and I'm gonna quickly go over some of the code. I'm including the serial peripheral interface library for the LoRa module. I'm including the wire library for the I2C communication. I'm including Radiohead, which is the protocol we're using to uh, access all of the LoRa commands. I am using the sensor library from Adafruit and their specific AM2320 library. And I'm also using this custom uh, string to float or float to string library to make sure that our data can be sent over the LoRa communication. I'm initializing my RF95 in the RF95 library from Radiohead on pins 12 and 6. That's specific to the SparkFun Pro RF. Next, I'm going to initialize my AM2320 and I'm using the Adafruit library. I also would like my LED on pin 13, which is the status LED on the SparkFun Pro RF board. Here are a couple variables that I need to leave outside of my setup and loop. And these allow me to convert my float variables that when I use my uh, float to string library. For my setup, I just wanna make sure that LED or pin 13 is an output. We're using serial USB because of the way the SAM D21 microcontroller communicates over serial. And we're gonna use 9600 baud rate, so make sure that matches. 
as we work our way down, we want to make sure that we have initialized the radio. If it's not, it'll print it's failed, but otherwise it'll say transmitter up. It'll flash an LED on and off. And then here, we're going to just state that our uh, I2C communication with the AM2320 temperature humidity sensor is up and we'll begin. Here we can set our frequency. The frequency that I've chosen up here is 92.921.2 megahertz. And I can change my uh, power. I'm just going to use the lowest value, uh, 14 decibel meters. My actual program is storing a variable, a float variable, AM2320 read temperature. That's the library. It's reading in Celsius. I can convert that Celsius value to Fahrenheit. And then I'll read my humidity and store it as H under AM2320 read humidity. I'm gonna print that stuff to the serial monitor. So I'm printing the string and then the value for each of those. Then I'm gonna send my data over the LoRa communication protocol. And here I'm just creating a string to send temperature C. I'm going to send that. And then I'm gonna wait until the packets send. Now I'm converting my C my Celsius that I've stored right up here from the temperature sensor. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm able to send that over the LoRa protocol. And the same process, I'm gonna send that and then I'm gonna wait until it's sent. And I'm also gonna wait half a second here to make sure that everything was sent properly and I have a break between each uh, piece of data. So I've just created another uh, variable here in unsigned 8-bit and then I'm going to send that. I'm then going to send my Fahrenheit data that I stored. Same thing, humidity. And then I'm going to wait two seconds before I repeat this entire process. Here we can see all our values. I'm going to pull over to cubic SDR, select my RTL SDR and hit start. I've already set my center frequency as 921.2, which is what the LoRa is producing. And I'll just go over to my graph and find 921. Turn off the sound for a second so you can hear. But you may need to adjust your antenna to pick up your signal. I'm on FM right now. I'm going to switch to FMS. And once you've adjusted your uh, antenna and your signal, you can see it picks up the three temperature readings pretty regularly. It's hard to see with the recording software here. Once you've uh, adjusted for the right uh, distance and antenna and everything's working properly, you can go to the bottom and hit start recording, save your signal, and this should save it as a WAV file. Mine is in documents, and I'll open up those WAV files. I'll zoom in on the, the sections, and you can start to see what was sent over the LoRa communication. And there's our full signal here.